Spanish food love. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm very happy because finally I had the time to make a video in this subject. A few years ago I was invited to participate and support a reform to the Texas Cottage Food Law and I am very happy because all the effort that a lot of people make in making this change it was successful and I am going to share with you some of the things that are very important for you to know if you make cookies, cakes, or jams or any other thing that is under the Cottage Food Law you are able to ship in the state of Texas before as you remember we cannot ship anything all our sales have to be face to face and we cannot even receive payments through the internet but with this law with this arrangement to that law we are able to do so and it is super good because it opens us more opportunities for sales and particularly if you always wanted to start an Etsy shop this is a very great opportunity because you can start setting up your Etsy shop and I know that it has to be only for Texas but later on if you are getting a lot of sales this is a very good startup for your business because later on you are going to have the security that you have a successful business in your state and later on maybe you can start a little shop or you can make a commercial kitchen and you're going to be able to ship all the United States or all the world it depends on what you do I'm going to leave you a link in the description box below so you can check it out and also I am going to tell you a little bit about those changes but first if you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe and push the notification button so you don't miss any video okay so let's get to it okay very good I am on the website of the Texas Cottage Food Law that is www.texascottagefoodlaw okay the website it is very nice I think so that they updated and it looks very pretty and here you have um, a lot of things that are very important if you want to learn uh, more in deep of all the things you can find here a lot of information so if you go in the low um, label you are going to have the SB572 summary this is the update of the law so if you want you can just click there and you will find Texas Cottage Food Law summary with the 2019 updates here you're going to find a lot of information on the update of that law that it was made on September 1st of 2019 here you're gonna find a list of all the food that is approved to sell under the Texas Cottage Food Law. Also, you are going to find how much income you can get from things that you sell under this law. You're gonna find where to sell the items that you make at home, what are the labels requirements, and you're going to find a lot of little changes that has made to the older law okay but if you go back to home and scroll down a little bit you're going to find frequent asked questions okay in this part it says you got questions about the cottage food law sb572 changes lots of and lots of questions we got answers okay so I'm gonna click here so we're going to go to the section for sales locations and delivery methods okay where can I sell my cottage food products you can sell your food directly to the end customer anywhere in Texas this is a significant change from the law as it existed from 2013 to 2019. You can now sell at any type of event. It doesn't matter if the sponsor is for profit or non-profit. Be aware that local ordinances apply. That means that certain towns might have different rules. If a local ordinance says you cannot set up a tent by the side of the road in a particular city, then you must follow that law. Okay, so if you we scroll down these questions are very important because they tell you where are the places that you are able to sell or set up a little pop-up shop these questions are very important but I'm going to go to scroll down a little bit and tell you one of the things that are very important is that 
answer on question 37 that it says can I sell on the internet yes you may sell your food on the internet in Texas as long as you personally deliver the food to your customer all the information on your labels except your home address must be provided to the customer before the customer pays for the food you can make this information available to the customer by posting it on your website or any other method of communication so this is very very important because now we are able to sell foods on the internet in the whole state of texas one thing that is very important is that you need to put a tab on your website saying all the ingredients that are on your cookies or mostly the allergens that are on your cookies before the people can buy them so they know what they're going to buy so that's very very important then question 38 can i ship cottage food products the statute specifically provides that cottage food operators can deliver to their customer in general thus if the transaction is made in person rather than through the internet or by mail order it is reasonable to use delivery methods such as shipping or hiring a driver but if the transaction is made remotely that means if they pay you online via paypal venmo or something else that delivery must be in person as discussed above so it means that one of the transactions that you are going to have in a sale must to be in person so if they pay you online you're going to have to deliver your cookies personally or if you are going to deliver the cookies personally they can pay you online so one part of the transactions need to be face to face additionally if the above conditions are met be aware that homemade food can only be shipped within texas when a food crosses state lines the federal government has authority over not only the interstate transport but the whole operation that produces it. No cottage food law in the country allows interstate shipping. And here are some other questions regarding unpackaging and labeling your cottage foods. Here is a page where you can find all the information about labeling. I'm gonna click on that and you will see all the information that it is required on your label. Mostly what it is important on the labels is to let your customer know what kind of allergens are on your product because that is very very important, okay? And also the address of your house and the name of your business and the name of the product, okay? And this is a statement that is very very important this food is made in a home kitchen and it is not inspected by the department of state health services or a local health department so this is very very important so here you can find all the information as you can see these are great news for all of us and i hope that all of you take advantage of these new opportunities okay thank you so much for coming today to my channel my oven is big so my cookies are ready so I have to go and please please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button follow me on my social media and always be super creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating and besides subscribing to my channel please please share this video to the people that you know that it will help them this is a great little change to help people with all this new information okay guys see you later bye bye